I'm one of those people who find it really hard to throw things away. Not wasted things or, you know, things that have no use whatsoever. But I have a tendency to look at things and ask that question before I throw it away. Does this still have some use to it? Maybe that's why I feel like I might still have something to do, something to say, even though to all intents and purposes I would be deemed useless. But uh, here, from uh, the comfort of my little pillow, I can still talk to you and I can tell you things and, you know, share stuff. And hopefully something good will come out of that, not just for me, but maybe for other people as well. So in today's video, I am actually repurposing something rather than throwing it away. These are some clips that I had left from another uh, video session I did where I was talking a little bit about uh, food and drink and how I feel about human rights, animal rights and minority rights. And uh, well, let's just have a look at it and we'll talk about it after. Come on. My favorite drink, uh, my favorite drink is sparkling water with a bit of lime in it. Uh, don't drink any alcohol these days. Uh, I might. I mean, I'm, I'm not an, uh, I'm not a teetotal. I will, I will have a sip. I will taste something, but it is so rare that it doesn't count. So, a few years ago, I would have said my favorite drink is, you know, a nice red wine. Um, or potentially a fine whiskey, uh, single malt whiskey, especially. But these days, my favourite drink is, uh, yeah, sparkling water, ideally with a drop of, of roses lime cordial in it. Um, food is obviously important because without food, we die. But uh, my favourite food. I think all categories my favorite food is seafood but my diet these days is getting more and more uh, vegetarian vegan raw um, partly because my illness is making me feel nauseous most of the time which makes food with too much with too much of a smell to it feel very off-putting and hard to digest but also because I have a very deep resentment for um, industrialized farming so I, I struggle a lot with eating uh, meat products that I don't know where they are from uh, I don't like the idea of buying a piece of meat in the supermarket where you have no idea where it came from or how this animal was treated uh, in life and to me that is a huge one so I, if I'm going to eat meat, if I'm going to buy meat I would like to know that this animal um, was treated well in life because and like most vegans, I don't necessarily have a problem with the idea that sometimes one race or one breed kill another for food. I don't think that is a big problem in itself. But I do think it's a big problem if as humans we choose not to treat the animals with some kind of respect and dignity and make sure that they're living conditions are good uh, and but they also their dying conditions are good because I don't think that it is right for the animals or good for us people if the animals we are going to eat die in a heightened state of stress and, and panic because I think that I but I do believe that that releases a lot of hormones into the body that that I think it's possible we somehow then get to ingest with the meat maybe not, maybe that is completely off but there is there is something the way I feel, the way I look at it there is something 
about this whole way of thinking where we need to start appreciating where our food comes from and we need to start honoring what gives us the food we need to choose be careful with our lands we need to be careful with our animals we need to be mindful about how we treat things people beings um, in our midst and not just sort of see them as you know trees to cut down for our own disposal and then someone will always say but what about the people why why do you care about the animals what about people well i did say that human rights minority rights animal rights to me Obviously, if I were in a position where I got to choose between saving a human and saving an animal, I would most likely save the human. There are some very clear exceptions where I would not. I'm not going to name them and end up in trouble. But, um, yes, there are definitely some humans that I would probably choose not to. And I'd save a puppy instead. But, um, I'm sorry, I not a good thing to be flippant about, I apologise, but um, I don't think that one thing excludes another and I don't like the, the idea that we can't be, we can't engage ourselves in one subject because there are so many other subjects that are more important or more worthy or whatever because with that line of thinking nothing ever gets done and in fact what I find is that most people I know who are actively involved in some kind of movement or some kind of, of group they also support other groups i know very few who exclusively support one single issue and nothing else uh, so i feel like get involved pick something start somewhere start where you are pick the you know subject nearest to you whether it is you know I don't know free free coffee on Sundays or whether it is animal rights or or feminism or or, or, or school lunches or, or student tuition fees it doesn't matter what it is just uh, do it go for it amnesty important work as well um, and remember the more you do for other people the bigger your heart gets and the bigger your heart gets the more you want to do for other people so it just turns into a positive spiral where the more you give the more you can give and so you do in ad, in advenium ad, forever so that was a little bit about how I feel about food uh, and drinks and uh, minority rights three things that are very close to my heart and uh, by now if you have been watching my videos you might start thinking hmm she's got an awful lot of things close to her heart and the answer to that is hmm, I do I feel very strongly about a lot of things and the things I do feel strongly about, I really like to share with other people. And now that I have, you know what's coming. It's time for me to love you and leave you. But before I do, as always, thank you very much for popping in to see me. Have a lovely day, evening, night, depending on where you are. And uh, don't forget, I love you.